Hi everyone. In this video we'll be looking at how to make a flyout menu with the Off Canvas Builder. The Off Canvas Builder allows you to create a variety of pop-ups and sliding bars in Avada. If you're unfamiliar with it, check out our How to Use the Off Canvas Builder documentation, linked below. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. I've imported the Avada Gym pre-built site here, as I think this is a good candidate to transform this main menu into a flyout menu using the Off Canvas Builder. I'm going to have to rebuild the header layout a bit, but before I do that let's go and build the Off Canvas. You can find the Off Canvas Builder from the Avada menu link at the top of the page here, on the Avada dashboard, or from the main sidebar menu. I'll just control click this one to open the Off Canvas Builder in a new tab. I'll start by creating a new off canvas and calling it flyout menu. There are example flyout menus in Avada Studio, but I will build this one from scratch. So I will just start with a 1 1 container. For my example today, I need to have a transparent container as I'll be setting colors and background options in the actual off canvas. So here I will just edit the container, and on the background tab, I'll just make that transparent. Before I add any content, I'll just go to the Off Canvas Options tab, and configure the Off Canvas. I'll start here with the General tab. Traditionally flyout menus are full screen pop-ups, so here I'm going to leave this as a pop-up, but it could be a sliding bar if you wanted. And I'll also set the width to 100%, and the height to full height. The next two options are not relevant with the full width and height Off Canvas, so I'll ignore these, but I will set the content alignment to centre. Ok, let's move to the next tab, Design. To start off, I'll set a background colour here. I'll choose colour 8, and then in the global colour options I will adjust the opacity of that colour via the alpha channel here. I think minus 15 should be enough. Ok, I think that's all I need on this tab. I want to set a background image as well, but for this example it's going to work better for what I want on the next tab. There are also a lot of border, padding and box shadow options here but none of these are needed with a full screen pop up like this. Ok, so the next tab is Overlay, and usually you would use this for pop ups that are not full screen, as it creates an overlay behind the pop up and above the page content. I'm going to turn it on though, and add a background image in here. You could also add a background image to the container of the pop up as well. Lots of ways to do things, and they will all be slightly different. In any case, I'll add my image, and I will choose this one and I will position it at center center, with no repeat. Yeah, that looks nice. The close button tab is next, and as this is a full screen flyout menu, we will be closing it from the off canvas. Most of the defaults are good for my example, but I want to add some top and right margin to bring this button in from the corner a bit. This will also align it with the trigger icon that's going to be in the header. I'll also set the color as color 1, and the rollover color to color 4 and I will change the icon size to 46 pixels. Yeah, that's a bit more prominent. With the animation tab, I'll leave these both at none. Now conditions. I want to enable this on the whole site, so I just need to set this to yes. With the trigger, I have a couple of options here. There are two methods to trigger a flyout menu like this. I could use the on click trigger option, and add an element selector, which I would then add to my icon in the header. Alternatively, and I think I will do that, is to trigger the off canvas from a dynamic content option in the actual icon in the header. So I will leave all the trigger options here on No. With the Rules tab, I don't need to set any specific rules. And I don't need any custom CSS either, and so I think I'm done with configuring the off canvas. Let's now add some content here. A menu element will be obligatory in a flyout menu, but I'm going to start with an image element here. I'll add an image and then select my image from the media library, and that's going to be the large logo here. I'll add it at full size. I will just set skip lazy loading to yes here on the general tab, and then on the design tab I will set an image max width of half the size of the logo to make it nice and crisp, and I will align it to the center. I'll also add 30 pixels bottom margin as well. Ok, the next element will be the menu element. That loads my main menu as it's the only one on this site. It's almost impossible to see yet, so let's change that first. On the main tab, I will scroll to the bottom, and set the main menu item text color to color 1, and on the hover state, 
I will set it to color 4. OK, now we can see it. Let's configure it. I'll just go back to the General tab for a sec. And all I need to do here is to set it to Vertical. OK, back on the Main tab, I will set the font size to 18 pixels and the Main Menu Item Text Align to Center. And down a bit further, I will set the Main Menu Item Spacing to 30 pixels. There are no sub-menus here, as flyout menus don't work really well with more complex menus, but for this side, it's perfect. So now I will skip the Submenu tab and move to the Mobile Menu tab. Here I just want to set the Collapse to Mobile Breakpoint to Never, so I always get the extended menu. OK, that's our menu. To finish this off, I think I'll also add a button at the bottom here. I'll link it to the Membership page, and call it Join Us Today. I'll align it to the centre, and moving to the Design tab, I will leave the style at default, but I will change the size to extra large, and set the button span to No. I'll also just set 30 pixels top margin for the element. OK, that looks good. Let's save that. That's my off-canvas content done, so now it's time to adjust the header layout. Let's have a look at that. I'll just go back to the home page, and under Edit Live, I will control click on the global header to open the header layout section in a new tab. OK, this header is transparent and positioned absolute, so we have some dummy content sitting behind it here in the builder. Let's just edit the container, and go to the Extras tab and temporarily turn that off. And on the Background tab, let's add a background colour to the header. Yeah, that's a bit easier to see. There's also a builder preference to turn transparent header and absolute containers on or off, but as my header content is white, I'd still have to change the background colour. To start, I need to simplify this layout section a bit. Starting with the large screen design, I will just delete that column with the button in it, and make this menu column 4 fifths to fill the row. I'll also delete the menu element here, and add an icon element instead. This is going to be my trigger. I'll select the hamburger icon from the gym icon set, and change the size to 46 pixels. Down in the link option, I will add some dynamic content here. And as I scroll down, I can see some off-canvas options. For this example, the one I want here is open off-canvas. And then I'll select my off-canvas here. I'll also set the alignment to the right. OK, on the Design tab, I will set the icon colour to colour 1. And on the Hover state, I will set it to colour 4. And I will also set the icon background option to No. Yeah, that looks good. Now I'll just use the Responsive option on the toolbar to check the medium and small screen views. OK, for medium screens, this logo column is set to 24%, so I will just edit my icon column and set the width here to 76% to fill out the row. And with small screens, it's all good. OK, so now let's come back to full screen view, and edit our container once more. I'll go to the Extras tab, and turn our Position Absolute option back on, and on the Background tab, I will make the background colour transparent again. OK, time to save this header layout. Once that's done, let's come back to our home page and give it a refresh. Yeah, that looks great. The symmetry here with the hero image looks fabulous. Let's try out our flyout menu. And there it is. Yeah, that looks really nice. As you can see, the trigger and close button are aligned, and there is a slight transparency to the background. I could sit here and click this for hours. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. That's a flyout menu using the off canvas builder. There are lots of options and ways of doing things with the off-canvas builder, so make sure you experiment with it, and let us know in the comments how you like it. In other videos about the off-canvas builder, I look at how to build more standard pop-ups and sliding bars, so check out those as well. OK, this concludes our video on how to make a flyout menu with the off-canvas builder. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Nevada.